Good evening, guys. Welcome back to Roll the Tanks. It's Jaeger262, and I have some news for you guys. Obviously, the vehicle right in front of you, the Chrysler K Heavy Tank, and some other things I want to discuss. First things first, it is Flag Day here in the United States of America, which means that the United States Army has just turned 224 years old. So, happy birthday, Army, and shout out to my friends in the Army. I hope they're enjoying their Flag Day. Probably not. <laughs> not what we civvies get to do. In World of Tanks, that means you do get six emblems for all nations, however you want to use them, of the little army insignia that they put out that you get this morning, as well as, and this is recent, but for Father's Day, it's Father's Day weekend here, you will get the Chrysler K and a special three times experience for Chrysler K. Now, obviously, the weekend is double XP. But with a special mission, which is test driving this vehicle for the first time, you get triple experience. It does stacks. So you will get five times the experience if you complete the mission, but you got to put in the code on the website. I haven't done that yet. And that's why I have my T-34B crew here, which is my highest ranking officer there, Hank the Tank Morgan. And you get to play 20 battles of this for free. So it is a rental, not by time. Um, according to the website, technically, if you only play one game today and play one game a day in this, you should be able to play it for 20 days. I don't know if you would want to do that. I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but that's how they have it set up. For anybody who already owns the Chrysler K, the Chrysler K GF, you can complete all the missions that are special. For this weekend for the Chrysler K that is fine if you don't play the missions or you don't log on this weekend when you do log on you will still have 20 battles in the Chrysler K so everybody gets it and this is one of the biggest baddest tier 8 premium tanks <laughs> I can't even say that's a straight face ever put into roll the tanks for anybody who has n had the pleasure of not being around when this vehicle was introduced it broke the game just because it was crazy thick in the front and crazy angled and made no sense now it's been rebalanced so that's the joke with the biggest and baddest is this vehicle is one incredibly rare and two not as great as it was then and that is not a bad thing that's not me saying oh man this tank used to be so cool and now it just sucks no it's still a good vehicle it's just not broken i mean i you know at least i did personally hate it seeing these things on the battlefield when they were first released Hated playing against them. Hated playing with them. Just, just it was just a bad tank, a bad experience in my in my personal opinion. Sorry to any Chrysler K players out there. I don't mean to insult you, but I wanted to take this opportunity to play the vehicle, do 20 battles in it with you guys, do a quick review of the Chrysler K, and to let you know that this unskinned version, the basic version of the Chrysler K, is up for sale again. Uh, the cheapest bundle is about $42, which sounds expensive, but when you think about how rare it is and when vehicles like the T-34 are selling for $52 American, that's relatively cheap. It's about $10 off of the normal price. I mean, I know the IS-6 is $54. It ranges or 9,000 gold, yeah, or 9,200 gold. So you have some gold lying around you can just buy 9,000 gold and buy it with that for the remainder of the 20 battles you can buy it at any time in game or in the web shop I think I think that's only for in game because I did check this store and it did say that it was only around for two days so it might be a flash sale not sure I probably won't pick one of these vehicles up I wish I could but financially I can't right now so if anybody wants to send me a Chrysler K that would be greatly appreciated if somebody wants to sponsor me a Chrysler. Uh, please let me know. But without further ado, I'm going to set up a really quick miniature review of this vehicle for you. Do a quick comparison to some other tier 8 vehicles, break down what makes it so great, and then I'm going to do my 20 games, which will probably only see a couple of those. So please stay tuned, and if you want to see more Chrysler K stuff, if you're tired of the Chrysler K, if you already own it, then... That's pretty much it. Have fun completing the missions and have fun, you know, with Flag Day and Father Day discounts. Alrighty, so 
first things first, I completely forgot a huge piece of news for you guys. When I said enjoy the Father Day discounts, I didn't actually go into <laughs> what those discounts are. Every vehicle, I think to tier 6, 50% off, and then up from there it's like 30, 15, and so on and so forth. I think tier 8s and through 10 is 15, 6 to 7, or maybe 6 to 8 is 30. I don't know. You guys will know. Check it out. Everything's on sale, including all the premium vehicles in the game. And if you just want to buy gold to fund your Chrysler K, there are gold discounts and there's experience discounts. So, <laughs> lots of crazy discounts I did not go into detail at all with, but now you know. Anyway, back getting straight into the comparison here. I also really hate how the Canarvan Action X um, has the highest firepower out of all these premium heavy tanks because this thing's an absolute monster. I love the T-34B. But what I did is I took every in-game regular tier 8... Oh, hold on. I don't know why there's a tier 7 in here. <laughs> My bad. Uh, tier 8 premium tank. Uh, the Canarvan's not one of those. But I have it from the Black Market event, so I thought I'd compare that too. I don't have any other unique tier 8 premiums, such as the Chrysler K or the Canavan, so it's just going to be the base vehicles. Now right off the bat, you'll notice that it has the lowest firepower rating right after the WZ-112. Now, firepower overall rating and overall statistics in general I don't really go into because they're kind of bogus. But if you just go really quick, that's how you use it. I prefer to look through all the stats. And going right here, 320 compared to, let's say, the WZ-112 or the, um, oh my gosh, I can't read today. IS-6. I don't know why I forgot that thing. The IS-6, way down. Um, and it's way lower than, it's about 80 lower than the... T-34B, which has 400 average damage per shot. 320 is very low for a tier 8, which is why the Canarvan Action X is so annoying, because it has 230. Average penetration is 198, so you are not going to be doing a whole lot of damage. That's only slightly better than the IS-6 and the WZ-112, worse than every other vehicle on this list. And again, the T-34 is the best at 248 millimeters of penetration, which means when you get into games with your bottom tier, you're better just side-scraping this vehicle. I'll get a little bit more into detail with that in the armor portion of this. Uh, side-scraping against mediums, then going up against tier 10 heavies. You won't pen them. Way to fire, 6 rounds a minute. Better than most vehicles here, except for the Canavern Action X. It's actually a pretty decent reload time of only 9.6 seconds. So not terrible when you consider things like the T-34 is 14.3 seconds or the WZ which has the second longest at 12. Gun traverse speed 25 degrees per second. That's better than some. That's exactly the same as the IS-6. Uh, but I really don't think that's that important because I have no problem traversing my vehicle in the T-34. And of course, no problem in the Knobman, which that impressive 37.55 degrees a second is just crazy. You get 6 degrees of gun depression, which is pretty good considering it's a rear turreted tank. That's decent, it's going to be worse than most vehicles. The only ones it won't beat are again the Soviet and the Chinese vehicle. Aim time of 1.8 seconds. That is where this vehicle shines. It has a very fast aim time, ridiculously good. And the dispersion value for this vehicle is normal. It's on the it's on the good side for a heavy tank at 0 0.35. So that kind of helps. But that 1.8 seconds of aim time is where this vehicle is going to shine. It is what makes it a great tank. Or I shouldn't say that. It's one of its strong points because this vehicle is not a great tank. But it is one of the strong points and it really helps with this dispersion. Average DPM is only 1,900 when you're looking at vehicles in the same tier being 2,000 for the IS-6, 2,400 for the Canavan. Um, it's only slightly better than the WZ-112. And of course the LOVA and the AMX M4 are low on all these categories. They're not really the strongest tier 8 premium heavies and they do need a lot of work, at least the LOVA does. 
I really hope that Wargaming re-engineers that vehicle to be just a little bit stronger. And now let's get into... It gets 1,500 hit points. That's slightly less than the IS-6. Way less than the LOVA. And that's it. Every other tier 8 heavy tank has 1,500 points. Premium heavy tank has 1,500 hit points. Its hull gets 152... To, um, 252... 101, 76, and the reason that is so thick in the front there, 152, is not just because it's a heavy tank, because again, you're looking at, you know, the Lova has 150 in the front, the AMX M4 has 190 in the front, so these are pretty, you know, that's kind of what heavy tanks are, they have really thick armor in the front, but there's 101 degree, um, I keep wanting to say degrees, because <laughs> I'm talking about, in my mind, I'm thinking about the angles. 101 millimeters of armor thickness on the sides is so crucial in this vehicle compared to the normal 100 of the IS-6 or the LOVA and then you have tanks that are really low like the Knob and the T-34 they have really low armor on the sides which is normal this is where the Chrysler K is competitive let's keep it that way competitive because of the rear mounted turret, and I'll get into the actually I'm gonna go in the garage right now and show you this. I don't know why I don't do this. One, the one hundred and fifty two here, the reason I was talking about degrees, this is crazy angled. So only tier tens and tier nines are really gonna be able to penetrate you in the front. Now the lower plate obviously, but if you hold down with your six degrees of gun pressure and just keep it like this, you're gonna bounce off here. I didn't get into the turret armor statistics. This completely rounded turret helps with that. Most importantly, rear turreted, which for anybody who doesn't know, that means that this vehicle is great at side, side scraping. So when you see this vehicle like this, or even like this, that 101 millimeters of armor protection, no one's going to be able to penetrate you here or here as long as you angle your vehicle just like this and use that 6 degrees. Now the only place that it gets a little dicey is obviously once they go into the tracks, they're going to hit you and penetrate but keep your vehicle like this and it's basically no pen no pen and if your gun's facing down this way right where my cursor is if you just rotate the turret you can have this really thick mantlet and the curves on the side of the turret to help deflect shells so that armor goes even though it is thick on the side for tier 8 premiums it goes way further than just being a thick heavy tank. Which is why it was so hard to play against, because it's not only really good armor for a tier 8 premium, but it's so much better when you actually angle it. Now the turret gets 254 millimeters, that's less than the T30B turret in the front, 127 on the sides, 88 in the back. Um, that's pretty standard for all these vehicles. Really, I mean it's more than most, but again the AMX and the WZ-112 and the Canavan beat it here. Well, actually, it's the same as the Canavan. And the AMX and the 112 don't beat it. I didn't mean that. It beats them, but only by 4 millimeters. Not, not a lot. This is not a fast tank. It does have the best engine of all the tier 8 premiums with, or engine power, with 1200 with a specific weight of 20, which means you are going to reach your top speed regularly, or rather quickly compared to most, so it's pretty mobile, but that is, again, just moving. Traverse speed is 34.98 degrees, which is better than every single heavy tank here, so it is a highly mobile tier 8 heavy tank, but that is in the sense of other tier 8 premium heavy tanks. That's still not, you're going to get up to 35 much faster than, say, the T-34B will, or the IS-6, and you'll be able to turn your tank a lot faster to help with that side scraping angling much better than those vehicles but compared to mediums and lights or even tank destroyers you will get outflanked easily so when I say it's highly mobile that does not mean it's very fast and doesn't mean that it's like super great at you know constantly turning to angle its armor all the time it's just quick for a heavy concealment gets 4.1% while moving or while stationary and 2% while moving that's that's pretty low. I think that's actually the lowest camo rating of any tier 8 premium heavy tank. 
As for view range, 380, that's average. Not the lowest, not the highest. Same thing with signal range, 745 average. So overall, the Chrysler K is really good at two things. Being mobile and angling its armor. And it does have a great aim time. That's not one of the three because it's really just gun handling. It's one very... It's not a small statistic by any means that's very important. But it doesn't do as much for the vehicle survivability or battle capability as the armor and mobility do. But everything else makes it a pretty, with the rebalance, a pretty average tier 8 premium tank. So, or heavy tank rather, sorry. So I'm going to go and play some games on this. I'll probably show you a really great game, a really terrible game. And kind of give you my final opinions afterwards, like usual. This part of the video is a little bit longer than I wanted, so... I'm going to do what I usually do and put the actual gameplay into a part 2 video that I will upload right after this one. So if you want to get notified for when that's going to go up, just subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, get notifications. If you like this video or you like the Chrysler K or anything about it so far, please give it a thumbs up. It does a lot to help me create more videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in the part 2 video because I only have 20 battles in this very very soon. I'll see you next time.